It's glorious. <laughs> thanks very much, Chrissy, and uh, welcome everybody here, and thanks for um, Vertical Events and for all of you people for turning up today. Uh, it's quite a big day today because it's St Valentine's Day, so it's a great day for the Romantics. It's Ash Wednesday, so it's a very important day for the religious. And it's uh, also uh, SI6 are presenting, so I think it's potentially a great day for anyone who wants to make a bit of money this year because I think we've got a really good opportunity here with the assets that we've got and a dedicated team to, uh, <coughs> to make sure that all our shareholders have a very good year. Uh, SI6, we're a, a, a uh, diversified exploration company that's building a portfolio of critical and precious minerals assets in Brazil, Botswana and WA. Just a quick company overview. Capital structure, we've got 2.2 billion shares on issue. We've got a market cap of $11 million, so we're a small, small market cap. Uh, we've got an experienced board of directors. Um, if you look at our share price there, it certainly when we announced our Brazilian deal, it certainly went the right direction. We've come back like a lot of companies that are dealing in rare earths and lithium, but I think neither of those commodities are going away, so I'm sure they're all going to have their day at some stage. Uh, and we've also got a gold asset, and I think it's going to be a pretty good year for gold as well. So what's the investment proposition? We're targeting critical minerals in tier one mining jurisdictions, and we've also got a 100% gold asset in WA for a strategic play. In Brazil, we just recently uh, concluded an acquisition of a 50% interest in a suite of projects, uh, which are mainly in the Minas Gerais state of Brazil. Um, we have... Uh, a rare earth project, we've got 10 licences, seven of them are Minas Gerais, the other three are in, in two other parts of Brazil, which I'll show you a map very quickly. Um, one of the uh, projects, uh, the licences, two of the licences are in the south of Brazil, in the Caldera region, which is very close to, and in fact, one of our projects is alongside uh, Meteorics project down there, and there the, uh, the clay rare earths and the, it's also nearby to uh, VMM, who have uh, been quite successful. And both those companies have had stellar runs over the last 18 months. I think um, certainly Meteorics gone from you know very low market cap to 450 million, and think might have been over half a billion at one stage. And VMM's had a good run as well. We've also got uh, f five. Licenses in the Lithium Valley, which is up to the um, up in the northern part of um, of uh, Minas Gerais, and again we're very close to Sigma's rather large. They're a two and a half billion dollar Canadian uh, lithium producer started producing last year, and also quite close to a number of uh, the licenses held by Latin Resources, who presented today, who have also had a very very successful last 18 months uh, with their value. Um, so we've got a large uh, land holding there, there's 17,000 hectares. Our second project, is we've, which is the historic project of the company, is uh, nickel and copper in uh, Botswana, and there's three projects there. We just completed about a $2 million drilling program uh, on our three projects that we own 65% of in a JV in Botswana. We had some pretty good results on the copper and also on the nickel project, which is the Maybelli North, which actually already has a resource and we'd be hope to building on that when we get the results in. Our third project is a gold project in Leonora. I'll get onto that later. It's got significant exploration potential. It's got a resource of 154,000 ounces and it's strategically located. Just a sort of overall strategy on that, we're gonna be focusing on Brazil this year. We're only a small company with limited funds, so we can't do everything. With, um, with Botswana and, and in Brazil, we'll start, we'll probably be focused really on the, the licenses in Minas Gerais, which will start in the Caldera region of Minas Gerais. And look, Minas Gerais is like WA, it's a great mining area, it's got great infrastructure, very low energy costs, it's a great place to do mining. There's, 300 mining operations there. So it's a really mature mining place. We're very comfortable being there. That's gonna be our focus this year. With Botswana, we'll, 
probably get assess the drilling results, see how they go, look at increasing our resource at Mobelli, and also possibly look at getting a joint venture partner to take over that, the spend on that, because obviously it's, there's a couple of pretty big projects there that it's going to take a bit of money to develop, but we're pretty confident we can do that. And the gold project, uh, we love the gold project, but it deserves a lot more love than what we can probably give it at the moment. So we're looking to do something strategic with that, either spin it out or enter into a JV with that, because that one is a great project, but it just it's just not going to get the, the due attention that it probably deserves off SI6 this year. So we want to value, we want to make the most for our shareholders. So that, that's sort of the overall strategy there. Moving on from the, uh, the uh, proposition of the investment, we think we're in the right place. Brazil's terrific with lithium rare earth, uh, Minas Gerais, we're in the Caldera, we're located next to some really exciting companies that have had exciting um, discoveries in the right place. Uh, Botswana is a terrific place to do business and of course WA, the gold fields, is as good a place to do any gold work as you could find in the world. This is our 2004, 24 program. What I was getting to, we've got a $1 million exploration program for the calendar year in 2024, focusing initially on the, our Caldera rare earth clay absorption projects which actually started, we, com we signed the deal on Friday and we had people on the ground on Saturday. One of the great, and we've already done some of the um, geochemistry work there, we've commenced that already. One of the good things about the joint venture agreement is that our joint venture partners, Foxfire Metals, have been in Brazil for 10 years. They've got a very experienced team, um, a number of good geologists and people with great relationships with the locals and also with the government but also technically very sound, and they're our team. So we haven't had to go and find a new team over there. So that's the program there. Eventually we'll move up to the Lithian Valley and we'll, um, we'll work on our five licences there with geochem programs, a priority over the lithium and rare earth areas. Up in the Lithium Valley, even though it's called the Lithium Valley, we're actually looking for lithium and rare earths up there. Botswana, we're going to assess the drill program across Mabelli North Diabetes and Airstrip projects. We'll upgrade the Mabelli North uh, resource um, and identify some projects. And Leonora, as I said, we're just gonna try and um, spin that one out. That's where we are in Brazil. As you can see, the Caldera project there. We've got the Lithium Valley. They're gonna be the focus of our, of our attention for the next, um, certainly the next 12 months. That's our Caldera project. You can see the, the smaller of the two leases there. That's abutting the meteoric project um, in, in the Caldera in Minas Gerais. As you can see there, there's sort of the couple of the um, other peers that we have there that have got much higher market cap than we have. And we just hope that we can replicate some of their success in that region. The Lithium Valley is, is up to the north and you can see the Salinas project, which is Latin resources, and also the project there for, um, for Sigma, which is a large company, and there's a, a list of peers there, again, companies with much higher market caps than us. So trying to just replicate what some of these companies have done in the last couple of years. Botswana, as I said, there's our projects there. It's over towards the Zimbabwean side. Plenty of work to do there. A very good nickel project there, we think, and obviously some potential in the copper. I'll just very quickly go to the Monument Gold is, is, is located very close to some big gold projects there in the Laverton area. So five compelling reasons to invest in SI6. We think we've got the right assets. We're in the right location. We've got an aggressive uh, exploration spend coming up. We've got a highly experienced in-country technical team at all our projects, and we've got a small market cap, so we think there's significant upside potential. So thank you very much, and, uh, and I look forward to uh, uh, chatting to you guys at our booth. We're here all day tomorrow and tom this afternoon. Thank you. <laughs>